Da, da, da. Hey, ba -da -ba. welcome to Coco Sports. I am the huge one, aka the idiot, Dave Coco from CocoSports.com or KOCOSports.net. It's where the world comes to cash, your home for combat sports, and above all, where it's okay to be a passionate fan. And I've been wanting to do this for a while. I did one of these when Wrestle Kingdom came along and it was Tanahashi Okada rematch. And it's just, New Japan is the greatest product in the world right now it's been the greatest product in the world for a really long time and new japan pro pro news feed english posted this and i don't know maybe they get bombarded by a bunch of wb fanboys maybe they get you know teased because they have to focus on new japan maybe they have all their eggs in one basket but i worry about new japan's future and not because of wrestle kingdom um, for those that want to know, here's my New Japan fandom. I've been to 10 Wrestle Kingdoms, and I've been to more 1-4 shows. I was covering New Japan back in the thing called radio. Uh, that was before the YouTube and podcasting and the internet. I'm old. That's the moral of this story. And I've been a New Japan fan for a really long time. And I'm really scared. I already have my tickets to Wrestle Kingdom. So um, I'm there. Bam! I'm at Wrestle Kingdom. Woohoo! Um, I'm going to Wrestle Kingdom no matter what. But I'm really scared. I, I was telling my friend this the other day. Since the Tanahashi Okada rematch at Wrestle Kingdom. By the way, oh god, were Western new fans so annoying back then. They're like, oh, it's a perfect storyline. It's the best of three. They never... Ah. Oh, God, it hurts so bad. But besides the, you know, Tanahashi Okada rematch at Wrestle Kingdom, by the way, their attendance was down that year in Japan uh, at the Wrestle Kingdom, not the events. <sighs> to me, this is the least excited I've been to, for, for Wrestle Kingdom in a long time. Or a 1-4 show. Because before Wrestle Kingdom, there were giant shows on 1-4. It's just a tradition at the Tokyo Dome. And I'm no expert. And maybe a lot of fans need to be fans and be excited and talk about it. But I also was a huge ECW fan. I was also a huge TNA fan pre-Dixie Carter. The Jeff Jarrett era. And it's stuff like this. And... I think New Japan Pro Pro News Feed English is a great Facebook page. I think it's amazing. I think it's I remember going on radio and YouTube and podcasting talking about New Japan and people like who the hell watches this? I see YouTubers all the time and I've been out of the game for a long time, but I see YouTubers that used to make fun of me for covering New Japan, covering New Japan like they always cover New Japan. Uh, it's kind of bullshit, you know? Kind of bullshit, I tell you. But the bottom line is this. This post reads, If you watched King of Pro Wrestling and your reaction was to complain about the state of New Japan, I feel sorry for you. I genuinely do. This is what... This attitude... And they, granted, they might be attacked by WWE fanboys. They might see a lot more negative space than I do. I, I mostly talk to... I live, in, I live in Japan. I live in Tokyo. I go to the wrestling bars. I go to the wrestling events. I talk to pro wrestling fans live in person. And usually people in person are genuinely nicer online. So maybe they're getting attacked. Maybe they're... I don't know the situation. But I do know... ECW crumbled with this attitude. TNA crumbled with this attitude. It's like this defense, like, no, it's perfect. And, and maybe that's not what the effect they're going for. But especially fans outside of Japan, I do feel like they're becoming super experty, and everything New Japan does is perfect. I enjoyed uh, King of Pro Wrestling. I thought it was, you know, it's the best product in the world. I, I'm not going to die. I, I really like Lucha Underground's television show. I think, I always say this, Lucha Underground I think has the best television show in my opinion. Everyone has different styles. And I think New Japan is the best pro rest company in the world. And I've been thinking that for a while and I've been tooting that horn for a really long time. But as a guy that always goes to 1-4... I don't, I thought Cody going 
again, Cody winning and Tanahashi and Cody feuding would have been a lot better. And then the Golden Lovers going against each other would be a lot better than the card we have right now. I I don't I'm not I'm going and I want to be proven wrong. New Japan has proven me wrong before. I want to go, but I'm being honest. And that's the thing. I don't think that about the state of New Japan. I'm a little nervous just because I want my favorite team. I want my favorite promotion. I want the product I love to do good. So, yeah, but when we can't critique or we can't complain and we start these Facebook, Reddit groups where we just suck each other off and not talk about ideas. And I'm not blaming them. I'm just saying this post, it's kind of like that. I remember ECW is that way. ECW back in the day, I was a super hardcore ECW fan. And I remember my friend Jim, I was like, dude, do you watch ECW? He's like, nah, I only watch WWE. And I'm like, dude, you got to check out ECW. He's like, not really. And I was like, and I lived in New Jersey. So New Jersey was ECW territory. And he goes, no, I'm not going to. And I'm like, why? And he's like, the fans are kind of dicks. It's like, I can't like The Rock and DCW. And then TNA. I remember when Dixie Carter took over and all the TNA defenders were like, oh, everything's fucking great. Really? We're just, really? And I'm worried that New Japan's going that way. Because here's the thing. On paper, this is Jericho versus Evil. That's, that's a Wrestle Kingdom match? Tanahashi versus Omega? It's going to be a great match. 76 stars by Meltzer. But let's be honest. If anyone but Omega... Like, if Omega wins, at least maybe this is how I feel in Japan with pro wrestling fans. If Omega wins, you're going to be like, of course Omega won. He's going against Tanahashi. And Tanahashi's very over, especially with the ladies. But if Tanahashi wins, you're going to get the, ah, fuck, really? Tanahashi won? At least in my circle of pro rest fans here in Japan. I don't know how it is online. And I know like Western, uh, I don't want to say Western, but outside of Japan thinks differently than inside of Japan as far as how they see the new Japan product. But yeah. And then you got White versus Okada. Really? This is Wrestle Kingdom. Look at the last two, three, four. It's, it's Wrestle Kingdom. Maybe I wrote romanticize am i saying that word right pretend i am Roma romantic i'm a little romantic about wrestle kingdom i think it's the greatest event in the world and maybe this is going to be 257 stars on the Meltzer muda rating but to be like if you watched king of pro wrestling and your reaction is to complain about the state of new japan i feel sorry for you i genuinely do it's like I hope that is just a bunch of fanboys from other companies attacking you. But if that's like, hey, Cody Rhodes, Tanahashi, Golden Luck, like, I think that's a better New Japan card. I, I do. I honestly do. And if that's like, you're not a New Japan fan, I'm like, all right, all right. I, I don't want New Japan to go the way of ECW, to go the way of TNA. We have the best product in the world. Let's show it off. Is it perfect? No. All right? But I've seen history repeat itself. ECW, TNA, and I hope it doesn't go to New Japan. So, yeah, if you think New Japan's... Like, if it's a WWE fanboys and, you're atta and they're attacking and they just love WWE... You're not going to change their mind, or it's going to take a lot longer. And most likely, when a New Japan guy goes to WWE, they're going to be like, "This guy's always been awesome." You, you can't, you can't sway loyal loyalist. But if it's like, "Oh, I think this would have been better. I think this would have been better," and we start attacking that, and everything is perfect, Wrestle Kingdom's not going to be magical. Wrestle Kingdom isn't going to be the best event in the world. And if Wrestle Kingdom isn't the best event in the world, it happens. Because I think a lot of newer fans think New Japan has always been number one. New Japan's never had hard times. And that is not the case at all. So I've been there through the down times. I've been there through the high times. Let's make people's opinions and critiques it. Because like, I wish all of you could go to a Japanese pro rest bar, sit down, and just have a conversation. It's amazing. 
and people have their different opinions. People do this, but to say you if you complain, I don't know. I'm just hoping they were attacked by WWE fanboys because if this is the state of New Japan fandom, I I'm more worried about that than I am the card at Wrestle Kingdom. All right. Like, comment, subscribe! I used to do YouTube a lot. I used to do radio. I used to podcast. Maybe I'll start doing it more. Uh, this just caught my eye. Uh, I want to try to do some more audio broadcast. Maybe I'll do some video. I don't know. I'm trying to make a comeback. I'm an old man. Would you like to subscribe to an old man yelling about how kids these days don't know about wrestling? Well, we're the channel for you. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Much love. And with that... I am over. Ba -na 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 -na. Hey, ba